Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, I hope you're well and safe. Today, I'm going to show you one way. The roti. It's a Moroccan roti. It's very nice. And you can eat it with anything. Sweet, you can eat it sweet, or you can eat it salty, as, as you want. So, I'm going to show you my ingredient, which is very simple ingredient. I have here 500 grams of flour, and I mix it with 200 grams of somolina. So, I'm going to add one teaspoon of yeast and one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. We mix everything together like this. As you see. And I will put my water slowly, slowly. Until my dough is starting to combine together. Nice also to give it to the kids for school. And when I mix my dough, I will let it rest for 15 minutes and I will come back for it again. As you see, I make it soft, not too hard, not too soft. Because the somolina inside it will absorb the whole water so that's why we need to leave it to rest so let it rest and i'll see later from uh, after our dough being raised as you see i'm gonna do it a little bowl it's a very nice you can see how it's been fermented very very well I showed you here guys okay I'm going to start just take the size of your hands between your fingers and your cut let me put a little bit of oil in my tree doesn't matter you can put them together in one place it's not you can see here Give it time to raise, and it will be very elastic. <laughs> Until you're done with everything, Let's see here. I love this roti. I used to eat it. I think you eat it for breakfast, uh, tea time, when you have people, you know, when you have visitors and you have visitors coming surprise and you don't have nothing to serve. When you make it, you can just put it in a plastic and put it in the, in the freezer. Just take it out, put it in the microwave and there we go. <laughs> It's really, you have at least something to have snacks to eat, you know. And it can stay in the freezer like a month, you know. Believe in me, you're not gonna finish the month. I'm telling you, you're not gonna finish your month. And we give it time to rest. My hand is sticky here. The last one give it another time to rest 10 minutes and i'll show you what we're gonna do after that we go. We let it rest aside and we'll see after 10 minutes i'll see you guys guys after our dough is being rested as you see and i'll start speaking some uh, magic here I'll show you here guys, put some oil in my surface, I'm splashing oil everywhere, so you're gonna start pressing, and is this, uh, 
we're gonna make it like almost like you're doing half pastry, you know. So you know, <laughs> you put some sumolin on top, and you start rolling like this. Did you see here? You get it guys, did you get it? And you put it back to rest. Another one here. You put again your oil. See? You just deflate it slowly, slowly. You don't need to break it, you know. Come very slow, slow. You put you know the reason why I'm putting some in between the layers like this. Uh, it make it puffy and also for people who to don't eat uh, white bread you know because this you need to make it with white bread or brown bread but the sumulina give it that fluffiness you don't get like a bloated when you're eating it it's very nice you know so that's the reason why I'm putting the sumulina between It make it puffy. You will see, guys, how I'm gonna do it. When I'm finishing, I'll show you how I'm gonna make it. Make it in my pan and uh, in my stove. Okay. See you then. Okay, guys. After I do be good again, as you see, I make my pan to get hot, and I will start from the the first one I did. I'm gonna take my oil put my hand like this, just make it in my surface, and I start pressing a square. Try to make it square. Put it like this, and I will put some oil in my pan. And when it start bubbling, you turn it back. And the time being, you take another one, you make it flat. Okay, you turn it again. As you see, it raise. So I make my hair a little bit slow. I to keep it square. And you wait for the other one. This is a little bit. I'll do the second one guys and you see how there we go, you can see oops, it's hot that's the process you have you're gonna I love to work with my hands I don't mind I love it to get very little bit you know so See, just a little bubbly and you turn it. And as I said, you can eat it with uh, your stew if you like, for breakfast, for tea time. You can keep it in your freezer. You can keep it in your freezer for months, every time you want it, you'll find it. And when you take it out from the freezer, it's like just you make it. And there's some honey or I can tell you.
if you have some almond or some uh, mixed nuts you can just crush it and put it on top with some honey it's just divine okay I'm gonna finish everything and I'll show you how I do the presentation okay there you have it this is my roti Moroccan roti you can see it's fluffy mini layers it's very soft it's very nice you can see you can serve it enjoy it with your friends your kids your family and bon appetit please give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel please that's it will help so much thank you bon appetit cheers